Manazaram architects have a 17 years long tryst with bamboo. Let's have a look at this interesting journey. Housing Mass housing at Rajamundri was a prototype developed for the forest dwellers under the Forest Department of the State. Using bamboo in mass housing with other natural materials can help achieve our development goals along with our environment goals. Two-bedroom house at Aperti, Bangalore. This project was done in collaboration with Iperti, BMTPC, DFID, Trader and Karnak Constructions to promote bamboo as an acceptable and admirable material of housing even for the common man. Mr. Lunardi's residence was the first ever bamboo structure of its kind to be erected in Rome. Bamboo construction technique is most suitable to prefabrication, either like trusses, frames, columns, wall panels and beams or as fully prefabricated units, which can be easily transported. In a country, which recognizes bamboo only as a fishing cane, we designed the house in such a way that every component could be manufactured separately and assembled as a whole on site. The structure was shipped in July 2003 and assembled on site within 21 days. In the wake of earthquakes, tropical storms and hurricanes, bamboo shelters provide quick, sturdy, humanizing and cost-effective ways to house thousands of residents rendered homeless and recovering from the disaster. This is a prototype of a permanent shelter at Hutt Bay, Little Andamans for Seeds, India. Built by the victims of the tsunami under the training of CGBMT. A bamboo building need not look low-cost-imaginative design and the use of other locally available materials within the cultural context can make the building desirable rather than just acceptable. House of Five Elements is the architect's own house, built by unskilled labor under supervision, was developed as a beautiful, large-scale sustainable residence running on minimal energy and strives to become a zero-energy home. Residence for Mr. Sriram at Bangalore was also done along the lines of a zero-energy home but on a smaller scale. Community and Institutional Exhibition Hall at Chennai was done in collaboration with Ipati and Forest Department of Tamil Nadu. It was prefabricated at Bangalore and assembled at Chennai. Community buildings can be hand-built by local craftsmen, pupils and teachers working in collaboration with architects and designers. We constructed a security shed as a prototype shelter at the Dialba University in Agra. This project which was executed in 2005 was a response to prove the performance of the bamboo as a reliable building material. Rooftop Cafeteria at Ranl Engineering. Executed in a different vocabulary with bamboo. The free form of a cocoon is a grid shell structure achieved entirely with woven bamboo splits originating from a central column utilizing a three-directional weave. The project was nominated for the President's Medals Student Awards, instituted by Reba. Bamboo Symphony, our office. Local traditional building materials can be combined with new construction knowledge to produce a building that is sustainable and aesthetic. Guest House at Amrisa This project brought together all stakeholders from policy makers to artisans a working model of human resource generation in the bamboo sector. Dia Alba University has planned bamboo centers at the university campus in four locations across India. 
In 2005 we constructed the bamboo structure in Dialga University campus as a proof of concept for starting structured courses for the bamboo sector. Sustainability Institute, CGBMT Headquarters The institute will integrate all the sustainable technologies in its design and execution through research and development. Tourism 6 meters long and 1.5 meters wide bridge with bamboo pavilion made with bamboo columns and bamboo mat corrugated sheet. This is the first bamboo bridge with such large dimensions built with this methodology in India. This toilet block has been developed to be replicable and can be built rapidly and easily. Pantry and VVIP Toilet Rajbhavan Remodeled from 100-year-old building with bamboo and waste. This is the architect's first building done with bamboo. Only by making full use of the features of the bamboo through innovation in terms of artistic forms and aesthetic consciousness, can we make bamboo better serve present landscaping. To flourish sustainably, museums must value and protect natural and cultural environments and remain sensitive towards its impact on its visitors. This project showcases the use of bamboo in various forms in construction and interiors. To explore the opportunity of educating its visitors is a power that comes with great responsibility. State Level Energy Park The theme of a state level energy park was carried out by using low energy materials like bamboo, mud etc. Full fledged two bedroom solar hut using bamboo crete wall. Complete bamboo-based construction has been used for all civil structures to reduce embodied and transport energy along with recycled debris, concrete block stones, and bamboo and neem tree for timber. Spiral-shaped changing rooms for the swimming pool, made completely of bamboo. Earth Center at Bangalore was built for the exploration of nature by school children. Infrastructure Swak Bharat mission by our Prime Minister, is focused on building individual toilets, community toilets and solid waste management in rural and urban areas. The states have the flexibility of design delivery mechanisms that take into account local cultures, practices, sensibilities and demands. Flex Isan Shell is designed and prototyped as a flexible toilet shell which can be used for quickly implemented sanitation projects for both temporary and permanent toilets. Police Bhavan at Bangalore. Our project proposal is focused on healing the wetland of the site and proposing an architecture which is majestic to be fitting the 100 glorious years of our clients Karnataka State Reserve Police. At the same time the building sits very softly on the site. Bamboo Bus Shelter at Bangalore was done to explore and promote the possibility of using bamboo to solve the dearth of bus shelters across the country in an eco-friendly way. The materials required for a large-scale construction like the metro and the damage that consumption of such carbon-emitting resources could do, will make us design with caution. We have submitted three alternatives for Phase 2 with different structural systems and are awaiting approval. Sustainable development is a great enabler of economic growth. Let us grow to support the right industry. Let us drive development in the right direction.